Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to determine where two lines intersect. And we presume, of course, that they do. But here are the two sets of parametric equations. Notice that for the first line, we use t. And for the second line, we use the variable s for the parametric equations. But they're definitely representative of two different lines. And we presume that they cross somewhere. At what point do they cross? Well, if they cross, there must be some point that has an x, a y, and a z coordinate where they're the same for both equations. So in order to find that point, what we're going to do is we're going to set the x is equal to each other and we're going to set the y equal to each other. So when we set the x equal to each other, that means that the x for the one line must equal the x for the other line, which means that 2 plus 2t must equal 6 plus s. And if we set the y's equal to each other, that means that at the same time that 8 plus t must equal 10 minus 2s. Now, if we solve those two equations simultaneously for t and s, and then we take those two values for t and s and plug them into the third set of equations, and they match, then we have a point, an x, a y, and a z coordinate for that point, where the two lines cross. So we need to solve first these two equations simultaneously. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the top equation by 2 and add it to the second equation. So we get 4 plus 4t is equal to 12 plus 2s. Notice why we did that, because this way the s's will cancel out. So we end up with 12 plus 5t is equal to 22 plus 0. Now moving the 12 across, we get 5t is equal to 22 minus 12. 5t is equal to 10. Divide both sides by 5. And we get t is equal to 2. All right, now that we have a value for t, we can plug that into one of our equations to get the value for s. So let's go ahead and take our first equation here and plug in 2 for t and solve for s. So that means we take this equation, we come over here, and we go 2 plus 2 times 2, because t is equal to 2, is equal to 6 plus s. So that gives us 2 plus 4, which is 6. Bring the 6 across, minus 6 equals s, or s is equal to 0. So if t is equal to 2 and s is equal to 0, that means both these points, the x's and the y's, will equal each other for the two equations, for the two lines, I should say. All right, let's see if we plug those values in for z for both of our equations to see if that, that comes out. So we're going to do a check now. To check, we're going to take our first equation and solve for z. So z is equal to 10 plus 3 times t, and t is, of course, 2. That's 10 plus 6, which is equal to 16. And now we do the same for the second equation, and they better have the same value, because if they don't have the same value, that means they do not cross. There is no single point where the two lines meet. So z is equal to 16 minus s, and s is equal to 0, which is 16. And notice I have the very same value for z, which means the lines do cross, and at that point, z will be equal to 16. And of course, we also need to find x and y, so we can say that x is equal to bring in our equation from here. So x is equal to 2 plus 2 times t, which is 2, which is equal to 6. So x value is equal to 6. And y, by taking this equation right here, we say y is equal to 8 plus 2, because t is equal to 2. That's equal to 10. So when x equals 6, y equals 10, and z equals 16, those are the three coordinates of the point where the two lines meet. So they meet at the point where we have x is equal to 6, y is equal to 10, and z is equal to 16. And there we go. That's the point where the two lines cross, and that is how it's done. 